Salford against Castleford. Winner goes through, loser goes home. Gary Schofield. Looking forward to this one. Very much so. Uh, two coaches who know how to play the game the right way. One with a show. They know that the forwards won't lay the foundation. I think the two packs are ripping to each other here. I don't think there'll be anything given at all with the two pack of forwards. And I'm looking at the big one here now in, uh, in Lee Walsh, just the back of Lee Weekly. And uh, he'll be looking to set the right example again. Casford will be expecting a big game players to step up again. And Salford's reliance for me. Uh, it's too much on Jackson Hastings. I think Cass will be making sure they do a job on him. It wouldn't surprise me if Adam Milner's not starting out for Cass and he does the he does the job of looking after Jackson Hastings if I'm honest with you from there. Cass fancied this. Cass have fancied the playoffs for a few weeks. Going there with plenty of confidence. The players are happy, they've got a smile on their face from there. Dallow Powell has set the challenge for his players after what's happened over the last two years. We know what happened in 17 last year, they went out in the first round. Cass fancy it this year. I fancy it. Salford were magnificent last week against Wigan. Is this maybe a game too far? I think it could be. I fancy Cass. And again, I'm going Castleford. And I'm going Castleford by seven. This is just so intriguing because Ian Watson, you could tell, was incredibly proud of the effort <coughs> his players put in, but slightly disappointed at the errors that they made. And he kept talking about, we need to learn from him. But I don't know how much you can learn in less than a week. Because you don't have the time, necessarily, to change too much. It's about survival this time of the year. And I don't know how much that game at Wigan took out of Salford. I know that they'll have a passionate backing. I know that early on in the game... They'll play with an intensity like they did against Wigan. And if they score early, which they couldn't do at the DW, I think they have a chance of going on and winning it. But if they don't score, I genuinely don't know how much energy there is left in this Salford team. It's been a fantastic ride. They've overachieved. They're determined to go down fighting. We don't know if Jackson Hastings is going to play. We know that there's a bit of an injury doubt. At the he'll moment. play if he has a buddy. Captain Bird's eye patch on. Well, well, we don't know how effective he'll be if he if he's resting all week and just coming in at the end. I don't know. What I do know is that Cass have got the ingredients to take them to at least the next game. This Cass team reminds me of the one in 1999 who made the playoffs and nothing was expected of them. They had a group of players that had a fan, fantastic work ethic. Uh, Probably got this wrong, but I think they went to Leeds and won. And then, I think in the this this uh, in Wigan, Wigan's first yeah. yeah, yeah, game at the DW Stadium, mm. and then I think they played St Helens in the uh, game leading to Old Trafford, and they were winning at half time. It was very close at half time. They fell away in the second half. There's a, there's a touch of that team about this one twenty years on, and I think Daryl Powell can harness that. And whilst I would like to see Salford have a chance to go back to the DW Stadium if St Helens beat Wigan as, as I think they might. And I'd like to see that from a neutral's point of view. I've just got a feeling that Cass have got something about them to get over this hurdle. Which is not to say they can get over the next one. But I think if Cass hold in there for the opening half an hour, then they'll do like they did at Warrington and they'll win a very narrow match by a couple of points. The bad news for Cass is they're playing Salford this week and last week they played a bang out of form Warrington side who haven't been good for a while. Um, Salford had a, a free go last week, didn't they? They knew they could go to the DW, have a go, see what happened and knew they'd have another go this week. I think it's going to be a great atmosphere. I think it's going to be a big crowd. You know, we talk about the crowd thing. And when I say big, I mean relatively for Salford because people are buying into this and we know there's going to be lots from Cass there. I mean, there's going to be plenty of noise from salt, but this could be a hell of an atmosphere. I think we'll have to side with Salford just because they have been the better team over the 29 weekly rounds. Kind of stuff. A lot of games, isn't it? Um, but narrowly, again, I'm going to go for Salford by two. I'm glad you said that because I was like thinking, oh, I don't want us all to go against Salford because we all know what happens when we go against Salford, they win. Um, 
And we get slaughtered. Well, well, like, well, like Jeremy Corbyn, we haven't got a position either way. We're in the middle on this. Mm. Richie, you've got your cast shirt as well. I oh, know. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really cast on, am I? <laughs> you've got your cast shirt on, you've gone for Stolford. <laughs> He ain't getting out of here tonight. Have you been on the syrup already? Ah, uh, <laughs> right. Oh, God, you've got that back. Okay. Carry you lot last week. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I was bad back and wait for him kicking you in the car. <laughs> um, Salford were great last week. Mm -hmm. And not many go to Wigan and push them that close. Cass tried it the week before and didn't get anywhere near as near as, as Salford got. Mm -hmm. Can they back that up? I thought Cass would lose last week. I didn't think they'd win, but the one thing about Cass that makes me think they can win is their defence. They haven't conceded any hardly any tries in the last six weeks. You know, it took Saints lost four 0 went to Wigan, all right, lost a couple of tries second half, but I think defensively Cass have got enough. The worry I have about Cass is their attack. Mm. And what I do think is Salford will score some points. Can they back it up? Yeah, I think they can. They won eight games on the spin. That shows they can back it up. I think it's going to be narrow. I genuinely, I, I, I have no issue with who wins this game. I think the best team, and I think, I'm going to say it now, that the team that wins has got a good chance of getting to the grand final. So I'm going to go... I'm going to go Salford. Because I think, on another day last week, they might have won that game. And not many teams got mm -hmm. Wigan and win, so I'm going. I am going to say Salford. But it's that tight, isn't it? This game. It's that tight. You can't. You know, it is. It's, 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 I can see Castro and win, and, and you mm -hmm. know Salford. <coughs> yeah, there's not going to be much in it. No. I can see one of these teams possibly running out away with it late on because that happens in play. Maybe, but I don't yeah. know which one. Yeah, maybe. Um, we'll see. Um, neither of them get blown away. Mm -hmm. You know, even Salford when they were losing earlier, they were only losing by the odd try in there. Same for Cass, even when they've been pretty ordinary, they, they very rarely get hammered. Do you know what's wrong? Well, I, rec I reckon as well, the talk in the dressing room from both these sides will be, we don't want our season to end on Thursday. Yeah. That will be a big oh, saying in both yeah. dressing rooms. We don't want our season to end on Thursday and we don't want my Monday next Monday. Mm -hmm. So okay. we can leave that for another couple of weeks. All right, fair we've, enough. We've gone for Salford now, which means Luke Gale to uh, Leeds will be announced on Friday or Monday next week. It will. 